Oh, there He's they are. Right We're going to get you hooked I'm up. I'm out of there. <laughs> you know. All right, I'm just going to kind of take a quick look at it and see what's going on. Oh, yeah, so they're definitely getting in. I can see them flying around all over the place up here. I don't like bees. Well, I don't want my grandkids so or my kids to get stuck because they round all the time, playing in the kitchen and going in the kitchen. I hope Billy, the exterminator, can get them. Mr. Thompson expressed that he had grandchildren. Now, that is alarming. They could go up there with a stick, start banging on it. That's how people get killed and die from these bee stings. So it's going to be a pretty decent-sized nest. I'm trying right now to determine if they're the standard honeybee or the killer bees. The very fact that I'm talking and moving around, they seem OK. They're not too aggressive. So I think we're probably OK that it's not the killer bee. OK, that's good, then. That's, that's real good. Let me go ahead and get a suit on, and, and I'm going to rip, uh, take one of those boards off. OK, all right. Well, as I guess you can imagine, I don't have your typical bee suit. I don't wear the normal bee suit because it's made of cloth, and I get stung every time I wear the things. But I love to use leather. When these things get really aggressive, they can hit this stuff. When you got the uh, bee hat on, sometimes it'll twist and you lose your vision and can't see. So I use a neoprene face mask with some protective goggles. I use the feathers to protect the neck area. Step back, man. It's going to get ugly. Not for me. I'm trying to keep him from getting too aggressive on me here. And it's starting to come out. I'm going to have to back up. They're all over me right now, stinging the crap out of everything. Getting too aggressive, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, have to treat them and then open it up and see what's going on in there. I'm putting in a silica gel right now. It's used for drying out insects. Inside of the beef jerky is a little pocket. This is silica aerogel. I use the silica gel because it's safe around humans, and that fine powder does not mess with the human skin. What I'm doing here is reversing a shot back, and it makes a great little duster. I'm taking this stuff all crushed up, and I'm gonna blow it into that hole like shredded glass. When they start flying, the shifting plates on their exoskeleton will start to trap the silica gel into these setchers. And that'll start pulling the uh, moisture out of the bees, and they'll start dying pretty quick. It's going to be a physical death, not a chemical death. All right, here I go. Hey, okay, be careful, man. Oh, I'll be all right. Okay, don't watch yourself now. I don't want you to get stung up too bad. As you can see, it's still going up, so I gotta keep cutting, trying to find the top of this uh, massive labyrinth. That's the top, that's all of it. We got the whole nest there now. Looks like the nest is probably about seven feet long. This one's probably a few thousand, three to five thousand bees in it. That beehive like it's bigger than an alligator. I think what I'm going to do now is get a shovel and just scrape all that out of there. The honey in the box has got a very strong aroma to it. That's why you got to get it out. The bees are going to come back again and again. Your average extermination company would have come out, used to dust pretty much like I did, but very few companies will go in there and open up a, a nest and start pulling the honey out and the uh, wax out. That's my niche. I'm out on a bee job where the bees have built their hive inside of a wall. What I found is way more serious than I bargained for. That is a bee problem. After completing my inspection, I realized that if I could just cut into the wall boards, I think I could definitely save this hive. This here is a smoker. You basically heat it up, and it starts to disperse a smoke that calms the bees down. It'll allow me to cut the walls open and not get stung so many times. 
Also, I got a vacuum. We're gonna suck the bees in here safely and then relocate them and take them over to Hummer & Son Honey so they can use them to manufacture honey. Last but not least, protective gear. I know that my bee wear may be unconventional, but it is practical. I wear a hat to keep the bees from stinging me in the head, a mask for covering my face, the goggles for my eyes, the trench coat is leather lined with rubber, man. They cannot get through that. Billy's beekeeping gear was a little bit non-traditional. He looks different than your average exterminator. I mean, he was sort of a rock star of, of all exterminators. Okay, now that I'm suited up, it's time to fire up the smoker. So I took some pecans and then started burning that to create the smoke. What's up, boys? It's Vexcon Moving Company. What I'm doing right now is calming these bees down with this smoke. It makes them a lot more gentle so I can remove these vines. OK, now it's time to pull the main board off. Here we go. Look at the size of that nest. That thing's monstrous. That beehive must have been at least six feet tall. There for a second, I thought, what have I gotten myself into? OK, the next thing I'm going to do is cut this straight down to see how big this nest actually is. As soon as I start sawing, the vibration's going to stir them up. Probably going to be the most dangerous part of the job right now. The bees were buzzing so loud, they were pretty pissed. Oh, damn. Oh, ow, I got hit. I was covered pretty well, except my eyes and nose had a little space there. Some honeybees got in there and stung me in my face. Damn it. Oh, damn. Damn. I got nailed hard, dude. When a honeybee stings you, they leave behind a pheromone, so all the other honeybees attacking will know exactly where to sting. So as soon as I got hit in the eye, it's like they lined up and was ready for battle. I'm gonna be a mess tomorrow. My whole face is gonna swell up. These bees got me pretty good, man. They are aggressive and ready to defend their hive by any means necessary. I'd hate to think of what could happen to Miss Gilbert and her baby if she accidentally stirs the bees up. It's more important than ever that I get this hive out of here and get it out of here fast. Okay, here we go. Now that is a lot of bees right there, Jack. I'm gonna remove a few more boards and then we'll start the vacuum. I'm using a specialized vacuum that won't hurt the bees. They're just gonna be sucked into a special bee box where they'll stay until they're transported and released into their new home at the honey farm. It's what happens when you don't behave. Oh, yeah. Next, I had to take these frames and put nine inch slivers of wax and honey from the hive into the frames. This is the bee's home. This is where they live. I've basically taken the home with them, sticking it right here in the bee box. Then we're gonna attach the lid on top right like this. Now I've got a few bees left over. They're out foraging around right now. They'll come back throughout the day, but their nest is gone. Bees won't form a new hive without the queen. So now that the colony's been removed, I'll wait a few days for the remaining bees to fly away and join some other beehive. Then I'll be back to close up the wall so that these bees do not reinfest the same spot. All in all, hey, I got these bees out of here and I didn't have to kill any. How about that? I'm really glad Billy's taking bees to a local bee farm. Uh, they can continue to make honey and sell it at the local farmer's market. You know, just do better things than, than just to kill the bees for sake of killing them. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and load the bees up now. If you guys can step inside so your wife doesn't get exposed to them. Even with the bees that were away from the hive when I removed it, I saved almost 13,000 bees. Not bad for a day's work. Look, taking a sting from a bee isn't nearly as severe as wasp. Wasps can sting you over and over again. It's a nightmare. But bees, they'll sting you once, and then they die. We called Vexcon specifically because we didn't want the bees to be harmed. There's plenty of places in this area that the bees can go. We just don't want them in our church. The bees are right there at the edge of the column. You can kind of see them flying around on the other side. They're buzzing all over. 
what's the schedule with the daycare next door? The daycare kids have just gone to lunch, mm -hmm. and then they'll be at their nap time, so you've got several hours to work. So we'll come see you as soon as we're done. That sounds great. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. They wanted the bees relocated and not killed. They're good for the environment. The problem was they were 30 feet up in the air. Take some wire mesh, make a cone with a finger-sized diameter opening at the tip of the cone. It'll hang off the building like this with that tube sticking out. Right. And then the bees will be able to exit that little hole right here. Right. But won't be able to get back in. I learned this from an old farmer. He used to put them on the side of his barns and trees and stuff because he didn't want to kill the honeybees. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that'll work. Problem solved. No kids stung. We're good. Sure gonna make it easier, all those bees. You know, on a ladder, you don't really have a lot of room to move around. At least we have this bucket. We're gonna have to drill some holes, put some anchors into the concrete, and then put our funnel over it, okay? We definitely got a gap on the back of this uh, pillar back here. You okay? Yeah. You get stung? No, you hit me right in the mouth, though. Oh. Anyway, we got about a two-foot gap. Oh, right that's time I did. Stung you? Yeah, it got me in the arm. Ah, son of Let a Let me get bitch. Ricky out of here. Ah, damn. Yeah, go ahead and spray. Let me get us out of here. Hold on. Ricky pulled out a can of pyrethrin. He started spraying the bees, and he kept them off of us until I could get us down. I didn't panic. I didn't start swatting at him. That's only going to agitate the bees and make them mad. Sorry I had to get you out of there. That first one got you, left a pheromone, and the rest started coming, huh? Bees, they release a pheromone, and this pheromone tells all the other members to attack, and they will. They'll attack you until you die. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it really hurt. That bee got me clean right there. It's already starting to swell up. There was only one solution. While Ricky got medicated, I put on the bee suit. I had some bees to boot out. Just hang out down here. If anybody walks out, tell them that we're doing some bee work and to leave the area. I'll have it covered from the ground. You know it's bad if Billy put on a bee suit. I hadn't seen him wear one in years. What's up, girls? Hello, anybody home? I'm gonna be doing some hammer drilling out front here. It's gonna get very noisy. So if y'all are resting, you might wake up for the next hour or two. It's gonna get a little noisy around here. Boy, oh, they're everywhere. I knew the kids were coming out soon, so I had to get this done quickly. Oh, get in there. Fight, fight, fight. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I need a, two more of those. Three more of those. Yeah. All righty. Bees are already getting into it now, and they're already confused. If you stick the funnel over the opening where the bees are going in and out, the bees that are trapped inside the wall are gonna come out as you can see they're doing right now, but the ones that are returning from foraging, they can't get back in. They don't figure out to come down to here and fly back in. What they do is they start congregating on the outside of the screen like we see these honeybees doing over here. And in a couple of days, they'll all flush out of the wall, I didn't kill any bees. They're outside still doing the things that they're beneficial for the environment. Looks pretty good. It's gonna work like a charm. Robin? How are y'all? Pretty good. I just finished up. Great. Basically, we're gonna have the bees swarming and uh, congregating through the night out there. Uh, they'll mostly leave by morning. You're still gonna see some activity out there in the morning and probably for the next couple of days like you have been seeing anyway. They won't be aggressive or too upset. In about three days, we're gonna come back and pull that screening off mm -hmm. and then we'll come back and caulk that seam the bees were using to enter the building and then the problem is solved after that. Great. Okay? Thank y'all so much. You're I sure appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. I would shake your hand, but I am super nasty and sweaty That's right okay. now. That's <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Robin. Bye. I'm finally able to grab the gator and instantly he starts freaking out. He is not happy about being drug out of this water and wants to fight me every step of the way. Oh, he's heavy.